Welcome back to my episode with Vicki DeVille. Now in part one, we did a QA, and a and in part two, Vicki is actually going to transform me into a drag queen. Oh my God. We'll see how it goes. Um, so I know very little about drag. I've been to drag shows. I know obviously some people that do drag. Um, what do I do? Well, you have to start by kind of thinking about your drag persona. Think about some things that inspire you, such as your favorite movies, or like your favorite movie characters, or like favorite celebrities, musicians, people that you kind of like, like the way that they dress or like their like style. Okay. Then you can think about your drag name. Do you have a drag name? I, no. Oh, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, your drag name really does like emulate your personality before they even see you. So, can we, is it possible to like make the personality and then come up with the name? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, I pick that option. Okay. <laughs> Luckily, most of, the, most of the like famous people I like are women. Uh, so, I love Alanis Morissette, obviously. Mm. Um, and my favorite movie is The Craft, yeah. which is for women. Yeah. Uh, and I kind of think that if I were to have like a personality as a drag queen, that it would probably be someone who was like, uh, smart, but likable, um, maybe sassy, uh, it's probably like every drag queen, right? <laughs> uh. <laughs> well, from, from knowing you and like from what you're talking about, I, I fully see your style as sort of this like, 90s grungy kind of like adore Delano like like you said like the craft like a little bit edgy goth like um, meets Alanis who's more like you know flannels and uh, you know that whole like grunge time period okay. I kind of like I kind of expected you to say something like that oh good <laughs> I wasn't no surprises like, from me. Yeah, I wasn't expecting to be like, no, I want pink hair and I'm gonna be a housewife. And, I don't know. Make me really girly because I, I can't see your drag persona being really girly. I can see her being a little bit tougher. You're definitely gonna have to shave. Okay. Um, I'll cover your brows. You have a pretty like like strong brow, so we're gonna have to try to soften that a little bit. Like there, like makeup does go a lot a long way. But the first time, but the first so time you get in drag, hard. you never look good, okay? The first time you get in drag, make sure you go out and you get really drunk and you take lots of pictures because you're gonna look back on it years from now and just laugh your ass off. Have you seen what I looked like the first time I went out in drag? And I'm a woman, okay? I still look awful, just awful. It's like scary. <laughs> okay, so we are going to work on putting that together, but we are going to take you along with us. Um, we're going to get some clothing, we are going to do all the makeup, so this will be a little bit like a makeup tutorial, a little bit as well. Uh, and then there's going to be a big reveal of a not yet named <laughs> <laughs> drag queen. So stick around. Okay, this is like a plaid. I don't know if you wear this as a top or more like accessory, like around your waist, maybe. Oh, so it could be like an additional piece. Yeah. Okay. So, I mean, it's like a men's top silhouette, but the fabric's nice. It's a cute print. What do you think? I think it's an option. Clearly, I like animal print, so. So like, like this is kind of nice. Like it, it would fit me. It's like black. No, it's flowy. This is like I'm going to work, not I'm going to the club. Okay. Okay. <laughs> it's a cute little dress. Maybe we could use it as like a layering piece. Okay. Just thinking. Um, these are sick. Look at them. Like, she works hard for the money in these. Damn. Pretty color, it's cute. Oh, there's some stains, some juice stains. <laughs> so right now Tommy is shaving to get all of his beard hairs away and have a nice, clean, fresh face. Then he's gonna come over here, I'm gonna glue down his brows, and then start with his foundation and contour, and then get really into the drag makeup. So the first thing I'm gonna do is glue down Tommy's brows and make it like a nice, 
smooth surface so I can draw new ones that are more feminine, a little bit higher on top of it. Like your brows are so thick. <laughs> All right. The gluing process like takes like a really long time because um, you obviously have to wait for the glue to dry. You have to do it in layers. I know a lot of drag queens actually shave their brows off, like drag queens that do drag queens full time. They just shave those brows right off, and it saves them so much time when it comes to getting ready. My grandma used to do that. She used to shave her brows. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she would just draw. Are you brows. serious? Yeah. Wow, good for her. Is that not like normal? That's what I thought everybody's grandma said. No, I never heard of that. <laughs> you fucking with me? No, I'm serious. <laughs> This is the worst, is waiting for the glue to dry because it just like takes so long. So when I'm doing this, I usually like check my messages, TV, phone playlist. It's just, it's just waiting, you know? I just want to make sure that they're like smooth. Okay, now you have like a minute to let this dry. <laughs> So it's been about 20 minutes-ish. We have to wait for the glue to dry. So once the glue dries, you put a little layer of powder over them and then let that set. And then I did another layer of glue, waited for it to dry, and then another layer of powder. So now we're ready for foundation. Okay. I'm so layered. <laughs> is that a saying? <laughs> this is when you're gonna really start to look absolutely insane because once your brows are covered, especially when, when you don't know what you look like without any eyebrows, you just get a little, it's a little scary. If you saw yourself right now, you'd think you look crazy. <laughs> okay, we're gonna, now we're going to start with the contouring. Yeah, no. The thing about drag makeup is you look like really crazy before you start to look good. It's strange. So contouring like with the shadow, I'm like softening your jawline a little bit. And grazing your cheekbones up to look more feminine. So are you just like drawing out things that aren't already there or are you using like my basic structure? No, um, I'm using your basic structure as like a guide, but like for example your cheekbone goes from like here to here. So instead of drawing it here, I'll draw it like up a little bit more. So it'll come down like, okay. so it'll pull your face up a little bit. And then your jawline is like, like very square. And then when you draw with the contour, you kind of just like curve it a little bit. So it's a little bit more round and soft. Okay. <laughs> Pretty much the powder is used to set the liquids. So foundation, we're doing totally foundation, cream contour, and then we set that with the powder and then we go in with the powder contour. Alright, now we're going to soften her up. We're going to soften her up. So I added a cream to like cut his, cut your crease to kind of create like a new eyelid shape because the wings that we draw on are going to be pretty much covering your whole eyelid like the way mine is. And then I'll be, you have to draw on a new crease line above Got it. your natural crease line. So I'm going to dust away the bake first. Can you like this? Yes, perfect. And this like adding the white to your waterline in your inner corners kind of just like makes your like the whites of your eyes look bigger. Do not open your eyes until I say so because we're doing liquid liner. So do not open your eyes. So 
So I'm going to do lashes and lips. Like this. <laughs> it's like, I don't know what you're doing. Okay, do this. <laughs> don't look, don't look. <laughs> you look good, you look good. Your eyes look good. I just fucked up your mouth. She was just, Anna was just sucking dick in the bathroom. <laughs> Phase one is complete. Well, kind of phase two. We went and picked out an outfit which you have not seen yet, but this is the face. I think she came out pretty cute. Like, that is one cute little nose, those some nice cheekbones, those brows and lashes. I mean, I did fuck up your lips a little bit, but everything else looks good. I like it. I am game. Um, so the next part, from what I understand, is the wig. Yes. So let's meet your friend that you brought. Okay. <laughs> so this is Miss Thang right here. Oh, I like it. She's brunette. Her name is Honey, and she is going to be looking real cute on you. It's very 1995 Alanis Morissette. Absolutely. Okay, let's do this. Ladies and gentlemen, making her drag debut, please put your hands together for Miss Anna Lee Bleached. Oh, yes. Work it, bitch. Yes, here we go. Oh my god, yes. Love it. <gasps> So this is Anna Lee Bleached. Uh, I look better than I thought I was gonna look. You look good. I think so. How do you feel? Awkward. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like a goth version of Ariel the Little Mermaid. Oh, Vanessa? Um, like the one when Ursula changed into the brunette and then stole the man? Mm, yeah, I feel like a, I feel like a Vanessa. I mean, you're like, obviously like an offspring of Vicky DeVille, so Vanessa from The Little Mermaid is very fitting. Vanessa DeVille. Vanessa DeVille. I love it. I feel like I'm wearing like two pounds of stuff on my face and I can't stop looking at myself in the monitor. I mean, you're a real drag queen now. I feel like a real drag queen. Every reflection. Gotta take a look. I have to do something for the voice. The voice? With this show? Because the voice is my voice is in trouble. Oh, for your voice. voice. Yeah. <clears throat> but I guess it's. Well, do you know who Miss Vanjie is? I mean, she doesn't really have a very feminine voice. No, but I was just, I was just gonna flip sync instead. Oh. Um, okay. So, uh, this has been another episode of Shit They Won't Tell You in Sex Ed. Uh, I am Anna Lee Bleached. And this is Vicky DeVille. Vicky, tell them where they can find you. You can find me on Instagram at Vicky DeVille, on Twitter as Miss Vicky DeVille, or search me on Facebook. Bye. Thanks for watching. I've got a lot of content in production, and I don't want you to miss out. So go ahead and click that subscribe button. And in the meantime, check out one of these other videos. And don't forget to send me your questions about sex to thomastalksabout at gmail.com.